Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today I have the Cutmaster traveling knife to check out. But besides checking out the knife, got other items that's been added to the package here to check out. And I think I'll call this video, I don't know, the Cutmaster traveling knife slash mega shout out Sunday. You may know I've done a couple of videos that, um, where I shout out a few channels, a couple of channels that I subscribe to and watch. And I call it Shout Out Sunday. So I think it's going to be a mega shout out. Because this knife's been passed around through probably 12 or 13 channels. I can't remember now. Um, and every channel that's gotten this knife and done a video, I've subscribed to, I watch. They're great channels. So yeah, I'm going to... All the ones that I know of that have had this, I'm gonna I'm gonna read off and shout out. And if I miss someone that's had this knife, let me know in the comments. Um, but these are all the ones I know of that have done a video on it. Um, but yeah, little little bit about this knife. Tom over on Knife Delights, right? Most everyone that's going to see this video knows of Knife Delights probably, but he picked this knife up at a antique store shop or something, and it was in fairly rough condition. He did a video on refurbishing it, and yeah, it had rust on one of the bolsters pretty bad, rust on the back springs, and so on, you know. It was pretty, pretty dirty and had quite a bit of rust so he polished it all up cleaned it got the action working excellent um did an excellent job because like looking at the bolsters i can't tell which one it was that had all that rust on it but yeah then he then he decided to send this out as a traveling knife and i think the traveling knife idea is freaking cool um, because it's a way for channels to, you know, find out about each other, interact a little bit. Um, one channel, because of this traveling knife that I found is Baxter's Blades. Awesome channel. This is his coaster. Um, so Baxter's Blades is one I discovered because of this knife. But anyways kind of go down through the list I have like I said started out with knife delights then he sent it to J.O. Ventures Outdoors who made this awesome little leather slip for it and this thing is it fits perfect in there um, the pattern on the front check it out mimics the jigging on the knife on the back, he's got some boot prints, signed at J.O. I'm not sure anything's showing up on, on camera. I'm trying to look through the screen. Um, the edges are nicely done. Stitching's excellent. Little lanyard and bead. And yeah, that's an awesome little slip. He does excellent leather work. Um, excellent channel. So definitely check out J.O. Ventures Outdoors. And then he sent it to Doom Crew, another great channel. Randy's WSG, got it. Excellent channel. He was one of my previous shout-outs. RJ's Knives had it. Another channel I like and I shouted out before. Um, Uncommon EDC had it. Thrifty Knifty had it. North Star Knife Reviews had it. And if I'm correct, he added this fire steel, which is pretty awesome looking. Made the handle, added a striker to it, and a ball chain, and pretty cool. And he said, you know, the next person person could keep it or pass it along. I'm tempted to keep that, because I don't have a nice um, ferro rod or anything. Just a cheap, you know cheap little one plastic handle and stuff 
But I'll probably pass along. But he, he added that to the the pile here. Um, North Star Knife Reviews had it. And also, he did a pretty good job explaining some of the history on Cutmaster and and um, Utica Cutlery Company. Other channels did too, but I my mind, I just remember that North Star Knife Reviews explained it pretty well. Um, CB Tactical had it, and he put in these things. These things are cool. Now this says, scan me to see a demonstration from CB Tactical and Quick Survive Fire Starters. And I'm definitely, I'm keeping one of these, um, these little fire starters, quick survive. It says light any corner of pouch. I haven't watched the video yet, but I'm gonna. I don't know if you can possibly scan that. But, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Throw this in my, my little kit, my little survival kit. I, I take hiking and camping and stuff. That'd be cool. So, yeah, I'm stealing. I'm definitely stealing one of those. Um, Mr. Barlow had this knife. Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. Another previous shout-out channel that I did. He had it. Baxter's Blades had it last, and he sent it to me. So, that's pretty cool. A lot of channels. Now, counting knife delights and myself, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different channels. Check this knife out. Then, got a whole bunch of swag. There's a whole baggie full. Got Baxter's Blades, that's a coaster. Got a thrifty, knifty sticker. These are nice stickers. Nice heavy ones. Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. Cool logo. Same. Then there's Uncommon EDC. And then there's a Apple Cider thing in here. Um, let's check that out. Keepsake Cidery. So that's KeepsakeCidery.com. Long age, spontaneous, fermented, natural ciders. 100% local apples, no added sulfates. That's pretty cool. I like apple cider. Got to check them out. Um, got Devo Knives Magnet. Zach Stuff Sticker. I got a bunch of his stickers already. Blue Creek Knives. I like, I like this. Stay prepared. Don't get prepared. <laughs> uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works Blade Sticker. The newer Civivi sticker the green one and a nasco sticker so a lot of cool swag i'm going to add some to it i i will probably keep a thrifty knifty and a terry's knives and man stuff sticker for myself and i'll try to make my get my stickers and put a couple in there or, or some of my i got a whole bag full of stickers myself but yeah, that's everyone that's had it. So check all these guys out. I'll link. I'll I'll try to link everyone down in the um, description. And again, real fast. Knife Delights, JL Ventures Outdoors, Doom Crew, Randy's WSG, RJ's Knives, Uncommon EDC, Thrifty Knifty, North Star Knife Reviews, CB Tactical, Mister Barlow. Terry's Knives and Man Stuff, and Baxter's Blades. Now, let's look at this knife after 10 minutes. This is a little Cutmaster Peanut. Like I said, it's it's pretty old. I guess everyone's come to the conclusion it's from the 50s or 60s, which makes it even cooler, as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, I'm just getting into traditional knives more, and to check something out like this, um, made in the USA from the 50s or 60s and and in this condition is a real a real treat for me um, but yeah a little tiny knife and I just picked up a few tiny knives I think I'm gonna like carrying a small knife with me 
This is definitely a very classy looking little jackknife, right? Something you can put in your pocket, your fifth pocket, carry this thing to church or whatever, a wedding. You got a you know, fairly capable knife that's not going to freak anyone out because this thing's only, oh, less than three inches. It's 2.69 inches double bladed and it's about 0 0.41 inches thick so very tiny I did weigh this it weighs one ounce you're not even going to know those things in your pocket then if you add this awesome slip to it that's a pretty classy little package right there um, but anyways like I said small knife comes with a clip point blade very nice. I like the clip point on this. Looks like it's been sharpened, you know, over time. Still has sharpening choil right here. And the tang stamp says cut master. Probably never get the show up on camera. Cut master, Utica, New York, USA. Now, Utica, New York, where Utica Cutlery Company is, Cutmaster is in upstate New York. Um, it's not New York City. It's, it's ways from the city. I'm in the southern tier of New York. If you go up where the state goes straight across, I'm about halfway. Utica is up here, northeast of where I am. About three hours, about 150 miles away. Um, so, not really local to me, but close enough. Anything made in upstate New York is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, nice clip blade. Very nice, I like that. It is fairly sharp also. I've cut this paper before. Index card, it cuts pretty clean. Um, a few little flakes stuck to the edge I, I use index cards because if it's rough it shows shows on a paper but very nice little blade and the blade is only oh two and a quarter or no two and an eighth total overall length cutting edge is about one and five eighths something like that a little over an inch and three quarters. Yeah, a little over an inch and three quarters. Cutting edge on that one. Very thin, very thin blade stock. Back here on a, on a tang, 0 0.06. Right in front of the tang, it's 0 0.05. You get way down to the tip, it's, it's thin. Let me out of curiosity 0 0.02 so nice little slicey blade walk and talk on that is pretty good there's no half stops snaps into place I'd say the pull my estimation it's not super strong four four and a half maybe but yeah Good, good um, spring tension up here in the open position. Nice snap. Now, secondary blade is a little pin blade, which is a tiny little thing. Um, pretty nice. There's no tang stamps or anything on this one. The blade is overall inch and inch and three eighths. Maybe just a touch over with a cutting edge of one and an eighth. And that's a little, a little short blade in this dimension. It's less than a quarter inch, about 0 0.22. Blade stock, about the same, 0 0.06. 
yeah nice little blade and this one is um, fairly sharp also you can see the cuts a little bit rougher a little more fuzzies on the edge there but all these things need is a little bit of stropping and they'd be pretty razor sharp I'm not sure what the steel is um, I think they're carbon steel I don't know I'm not positive they just have that kind of tint to them like they're carbon because they have been polished up and I think someone said be equivalent to like 440A or something but I think they're carbon they're still still getting a little oil out of it but um yeah pretty cool little blades I don't know what the bolsters are they appear to be like um, nickel silver bolsters got stainless steel back springs these might be stainless steel too who knows I don't know brass pins though got brass liners gapping on on the back you know this is I don't know if that's a gap or just kind of dirt into the little groove I did not see any any light shining through let me um yeah I see a little bit holding it up to the window right right along here right between the brass liner and that back spring a little bit of light maybe it, there was a touch up in here but really not much at all very nicely done yeah virtually no gaps like I said I did see a little bit of light but <clears throat> not bad I got a newer knife that has a, a gap in the back of it that you could throw a cat through um, this thing's cool like I said you know made in the United States New York State upstate New York that's pretty awesome the scales on this some kind of synthetic material Delrin or something with the jigging kind of looks like bone I believe that they are synthetic yeah they gotta be but it does look like bone and they the covers fit in there excellent um, I don't see any like in the corners there's no gaps no gaps along the entire liner frame um, very nice this is such a cool little knife now I go to a lot of rum sales and flea markets and stuff and I just never really pay attention to little knives like this because they're in horrible shape usually um, covers are broken they're rusted Blades are broken off, or they look like someone sharpened them on a grinding wheel, just totally destroyed. So, seeing this one, the condition it's in, is remarkable to me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pay more attention to little knives like this. Um, if they don't have broken blades or covers, and the blade's still in good condition I don't I'm gonna pick them up definitely look for Cutmaster and other brands um, but yeah pretty awesome knife I'm so tickled to, to have this sent to me to check out and this is gonna be a long video but that's about all I can give on this knife I think it's pretty awesome Definitely going to keep an eye out for little pocket knives like that, old ones. But I guess that will do it for this video. Be sure to go check out all the channels. Like I said, I'll link them all down in the description. These are all channels that I'm subscribed to and watch and, and really like. So if 
one or two of these you're not familiar with, you don't know about, go check them out. Give them a watch their videos, drop some likes, leave a comment, subscribe, and guess that do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And until next video, bye.